All right, guys, we're talking about how to keep your movements out of your lower back. There are a couple steps that I find really helps me to keep movements out of my lower back. Um, you'll find this is especially common in females because we stand with our butt out, so you already have that tilt here in your lower back, putting a lot of pressure on your lower back. Um, so these are some things that I go through to make sure that my movements feel really clean and I keep them out of my back. So first things first, two things I like to warm up will be my lats and my core. With my lats doing things like banded rows, single arm banded rows, sometimes a dead hang, anything that's gonna be a little bit lighter that's really gonna force you to keep your lats engaged so that when you do go to deadlift or squat or row, you're feeling your back muscles engaged so that they're staying in place. Um, same thing with my core, something super light that's not gonna take a lot of energy. I don't wanna pre-exhaust myself, so dead bugs, pile of press, any other light movement, especially like dead bugs because it's forcing me to keep my tailbone rounded. Um, then I always warm up with a thin deep barbell. This is really important because I don't want to start off really, really heavy and then um, injure myself on the first set. So I like to warm up with an empty barbell, make sure everything's feeling really good and clean before I actually add weight to the barbell. Next thing would be to keep your spine super neutral. So I have a client that calls this grumpy tummy and you'll see why. So I told you earlier, a lot of women stand with their butt out. It's that tilt. So you want to think about keeping your tailbone underneath you. So keeping your tummy grumpy, like Sarah says. So from here, keeping that tummy up, keeping that core tight, tailbone underneath you. All right? You want to stand like this too. So honestly, I try to practice keeping my tailbone underneath me. Next thing, keeping your core and your lats engaged through the entire movement. So if you're deadlifting, you don't want to be pulling all the way backwards, losing that engagement. So keeping everything nice and tight the entire time. Keeping your feet planted on the ground. So it's really important that you're going to push through your entire foot, especially through hip thrust, squats, and deadlifts to stand up. So you want to think a tripod foot here and you're pushing through your entire foot to stand back up. And the last thing, obviously you want to keep proper form throughout the entire movement. So for your hip thrusts, you're pushing through your feet, through your hips. You're not pushing up through your back, keeping your core tight. For your deadlifts, you want to think moving back and forth, not up and down. So again, you're going to be pushing through your feet to stand up, keeping your tailbone super rounded here, going backwards and forwards, not up and down. That should help you from pulling up through your chest and your back. Same thing with your squats, but you're going through, you're actually going up and down here, but you're moving through your feet always. So you always want to think moving through your feet. And then with your rows, you're going to keep your back and shoulders down. And then you're going to pull through your elbow and through your shoulder to ensure that you're not pulling through your hand, still keeping that grumpy tummy underneath you.